Friends, this is Vivian from Mitchell7startakit.com. Thank you for watching. Today, um, I was tasked to start learning fire um, for my job, and I figured I'd put, make a quick recording and um, share um, some information with you about um, fire and mirth. So, what I need to do today is just um, download the latest version of mirth and download the mirth fire connector. And um, actually what, what Mirth has done is create a fire listener connector. And we all know that fire is based on HTTP. And since Mirth already has um, availability to the HTTP listener, um, it wasn't that far of a stretch for them to implement fire. So the new fire listener connector acts much like an HTTP listener. Um, that's what fire is based on after all but also uh, and most importantly it includes an assortment of fire specific settings as well as some helper utility classes for working with mirth responses so um, here what I want to cover here is how to actually get the mirth fire connector um, where is it how do you get it uh, and that's what I want to co cover now and um, three easy steps here. So step one is let's go to the Mirth Fire Overview and that's what this link is for. So if you just copy, the, I'll have the links down below too in, in this video, but this is a link if you need it right now. Um, and what I did was you could read the overview. I read that first and then so now since you want to install it, I clicked on getting and installing. That's step two. Um, that takes us to the screen and step three is just to click this link um, and this takes you to the Mirth Fire um, download page or what looks sort of like a um, opt-in page so you have to give them information for them to give you um, the connector so I filled out this information and it took me to this page and from this page, what I did was just click Accept and Download. And as you can see, a zip file begins to download, and um, which is cool. So I want to see what that zip file is all about. And if you actually, here you go. So here's what the zip file contains. So um, I, my next step now is to figure out how to implement this in Mirth. Um, I don't even have Mirth on my Mac yet, so I'm going to do that next. So as you can see, it was pretty easy to get the Mirth Fire um, connector. Um, step one, go to that link. Step two, click the Getting Installing link. Step three, click Accept and Download, and voila, you have this zip file with the actual connector. So um, I'll make a video next on how to install it into Mirth, and um, thanks for watching.